And put your hands together for the very funny Thamer Jendubi. Yay. You guys having a good time? Yeah. Almost done, I promise. <laughs> uh, just before we start, can I get a quick show of hands? Um, can all the women in the audience please raise their hands really quickly? Just not a big deal. Okay, everybody else, uh, you can leave. Yeah. I, I'm not up here for you. <laughs> uh, just to tell you ladies a little bit about myself. Uh, I'm a native New Yorker. I grew up in Jamaica, Queens, which is, uh, yeah, boy! <laughs> So you know, Jamaica, you know, it's a little bit of a rough neighborhood, you know, growing up. So you know that ladies, if we're ever together and, you know, shit's about to pop off, I am very good at uh, fighting, finding uh, safe hiding places. Uh, because I'm responsible, and that's attractive. What else? Uh, some of you might be wondering about my exotic looks. Uh, both of my parents are from Tunisia, which is a country in North Africa. Uh, grew up speaking French and Arabic at home. So ladies, you know that when I take you on romantic vacations around the world, you can expect to be interrogated for up to eight hours at the airport. Uh, what else? Um, oh, uh, I'm a very big fan of uh, pornography. Yeah! I, I enjoy it, that's it. I just wanted to, you thought you should know. I really like, uh, I really like porn. <laughs> But uh, despite that amazing uh, pitch I just made to you, I'm actually very bad with women. Uh, or I should say, I'm not bad with women. I'm, I'm bad at getting dates with women. You know, if it's face to face, I'm okay. I tread water a little bit, you know, maybe get a number. She's drunk enough. Um, I was uh, texting, I swear, texting for me is like skydiving above a Rwandan minefield without a parachute. You know, it, it very rarely ends well. I was. I was texting with a girl last week, and I swear to God, she, you, you know, hold on. I'm gonna read this to you, and maybe you can help me because I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. <laughs> right, okay, so uh, we exchange numbers. She texts me, hey. And I text her a picture of my dick. <laughs> Nothing, Not, no thank you, just no reply. I don't. I don't get it. It's rude if you ask me. Anyway. Um, one of my best friends is getting uh, married in South Africa in two weeks uh, to a South African girl that he met while working there. So uh, I'm invited to the wedding. Very excited. Guys, am I really not that funny? No, no, you good. You're my boy, too, because we're from Jamaica. 179, right? All right, we good. Yeah, you know, no, I'm lying, I'm lying. I'm on like Union Turnpike. Oh, Union, that's fine. Street, street cred though, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. You heard that? <laughs> anyway, so I'm going to this wedding in South Africa in two weeks. I'm very excited for it. One of my best friends. I'm not excited about the flight, right? You know, this is 16 hours on a plane, nonstop, all right? That's a, that's a long time. For me, after about eight hours, I start to freak out, right? And if I freak out on a plane, Everybody's gonna freak out on the plane. You know? That's not that's not oh please, sir, it's gonna be okay. Just breathe, please, calm down, you know? That's that's an emergency landing at the nearest airport and like an eight billion dollar fine for me. You know, I can't I can't afford that. Um, this is something I actually recently learned about South African culture, very interesting. Traditionally South African brides, uh, their families get cattle in exchange for their uh, daughter's hand in marriage. So uh, my friend's uh, fiance, Barbara, her, fi her family wanted eight cows in exchange for her hand in marriage. I don't know if that's fair or not, but my friend Dan, he's Jewish, so he got them down to three cows <laughs> and season one of Curb Your Enthusiasm. <laughs> the best season, if you ask me. But uh, speaking of South Africa, uh, a lot of racism going on in the world right now, you know? Black lives, they matter. The Latino lives matter. Anti-Semitism's on the rise. That shit's got to stop. Asians, yeah, maybe. Uh, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I love everyone. But what pertains to me, Islamophobia, probably at an all-time high right now. 
you know? And I say to myself, I read these instances every day, horrible shit happening to, to Muslims and Arab Americans, and I tell myself, you know what, that's the rest of the country, you know? That's not New York, that's not my hometown. We're better than that. Nah. <laughs> nah. <laughs> I was on the F train two weeks ago. I get on, and I, I hadn't shaved in a little bit, so I had a beard going, and I, I was wearing a shirt that had Arabic writing all over it, certain parts. So I get on, and I see these, these two elderly Russian women looking at me, staring. You know, they're just like whispering and, and pointing. Like, it's so like they're so sneaky, like they're getting away with something. It's like, no, I, we're sitting four feet across from each other. I'm making eye contact with you. I see you. You're not fooling anybody, right? So I see that. I try to ignore it. I go back to doing what I'm doing. A few minutes later, guy sees me from down the, the car. He yells out, <laughs> he yells out, you people make me sick. Get the fuck off the train, bro. That hurt my feelings a little bit. But you know, I said, I don't have time for this. I'm just gonna relax, stay calm, go back to doing what I'm doing. Two stops later, the train stops, right? Doors open, conductor gets on with two cops behind him, comes up to me. He says, he says, sir, you have to get off the train right now. You're under arrest. At this point, I'm livid. I said, why, why? Because I look a certain way and I've got Arabic on my shirt. You're gonna fucking arrest me? Fuck you, no. He says, no, sir, you're under arrest because apparently you've been furiously masturbating since West 4th Street. <laughs> so, uh, I got arrested for that crime. <laughs> I don't know. So then we get out, you know, they, they put me in cuffs, they take me out to the, to the street. Putting me in the car, the guy says, the cop who's putting me in the car, he says to me, man, you seem like a normal, chill dude. Why the fuck would you do something like this? I looked at him and said, I don't know, man. I just really like porn. <laughs> That's my time, everyone. Thank you so much. <laughs>